as we are renewing ourselves we are reflecting on various aspects whereby through the word of god our minds are renewed when we whatever the worries anxieties come don't allow that poison to enter into you you just surrender to god in prayer your life is renewed you take the word that gives life and feed your mind with the heavenly thoughts with the heavenly plan of god for you the more you cling on to the word you are being renewed so various aspects of renewal as soon as you get up just to praise him thank him acknowledge your creator that he has given you life he is in you you are renewed and today another important aspect of renewal is being consciousness of the lord who is in us the more we aware of it as st paul says in the book of colossians chapter 1 verse 27 to whom god would make known what is the riches of his glory of this mystery among the gentiles what is that mystery the great secret which god wants to reveal to the humanity is christ in you christ in you the hope of glory the one who gives hope the one who gives glory is in you he is not somewhere else jesus said the kingdom of god is inside you people will say here he comes there he comes no the moment you are conscious of the lord in you you begin to grow that's why jesus said in john chapter 14 verse 16 to 17 i will not leave you orphan i don't want you even to think a minute that you are an orphan you are a helpless person no whatever may be your situation know the truth what is the truth the helper whom the father sends he is in you he is with you he is in you he is with you that's why in the book of isaiah chapter 62 it is written that the glorious god he abides in you he abides in you the crown of glory is abiding in you the more we are conscious of the lord in us when you have food you don't run around when you have all that you need you don't become panicky you don't get disturbed you don't become because all that is needed is in you the god of hope the god of glory is in us this is the great secret one day a man was inside the wall examining and this little son two years old he was playing with his mother outside suddenly he ran and said papa he said papa was inside the well he looked up and the boy jumped immediately the father did not even see the water is down he caught hold of him he got shock of his life but the boy was laughing catching him he fell down the father fell down not the son he caught him what did you do like that we did he jump i know my papa is inside so i jumped is it i know you will catch me the more you are conscious of the lord in you your language becomes to friend your attitude becomes to friend your way of handling life becomes to friend the bible says in the book of colossian chapter 1 verse 19 for it has pleased the father 
that all the divine fullness, the sum total of the divine perfection, should dwell in Jesus permanently. Yes. That's why Colossians 2, 9 says that in Christ Jesus dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily that includes the Father and the Holy Spirit. This is the reason when you call upon the name of Jesus, the Holy Spirit immediately comes to do. Because Colossians 2, 9 says, in Christ, the Godhead is fully imbibed. When you say Jesus, immediately Holy Spirit is alert. Immediately the Father is ready to answer. In the name of Jesus, the heaven and the earth bows before. You have that name. You have him with you. That's why we read in the book of Acts chapter 3. When Peter and John went to the temple, they looked at the beggar and said, Look, we don't have gold and silver, but we have something more than that. If we give you gold and silver, you may take it and live a few days and return back as a beggar. But I give you something that will make you permanently to celebrate life. In the name of Jesus, get up. Jesus. When you call, the whole heaven and the earth comes with you. When you declare in the name of Jesus, this sickness, get out. The whole God that comes to attacks that sickness. Yes, the greatest glory, the secret is Christ is in you. The more we meditate upon this truth, the more we live upon this truth, the victory is found. Newness comes. Newness comes. Yes. The, the name of the Lord is a great tower. And God's children, at any moment, they just run to it and they are safe. Proverbs 18.10 Yes. Any situation, you can enter, you can just be aware, the Lord is in you. Yes. That's why Colossians chapter 2 verse 3 says, And in him all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge is loaded. Yes. That's why Jesus said in John 5.26, Even as the Father has life in himself, and is self-existent, so he has given to the Son to have life in himself and to be self-existent. Yes, Christ is in you. So, number one, don't give up. Don't give up. Let anything happen. Don't give up. There is nothing you and I, the Lord, together cannot achieve. The moment you and the Lord are together, you are majority. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Two boys are fighting. The father has bought ties for both of them. And the big boy lost the tie. And he, and he destroyed it. And now he is catching the tie of the small boy, give it to me, it's mine, I want to play. The small boy says, Papa bought for you, you lost that one, you go to hell. He says, no, I want to play. If you want to play, means you should play with your broken tie. Small boy is saying, no. So the big boy is pulling. The small boy immediately called, Papa! What? The big boy gets angry and he gets him. Hearing the voice, the papa comes. Seeing papa, the elder boy went away. What happened? Nothing, papa. I got back my toy. Sickness, pain, discouragement, 
all that connected with your body connected with your mind connected with your soul attacks you the moment you realize you have a papa you have a god who is in you who is with you that revelation breaks everything we read in luke's gospel chapter 15 verse 18 or 17 onwards the boy came to his senses are when so much of food even to the servants in the house of my father and i am here dying with the pigs the prodigal son realized he came to his sense of who he is to whom he belonged to that revelation is enough one moment is enough yes and he came to his sense even if i am a worst sinner i have a father i have a savior he started to move towards the father to get back new life new slippers new clothes new ring yes life is complicated human people are complicated in the world human issues are complicated but one who makes turns everything into good is in you romans 8:28 that the one who turns everything into good is in you he is with you just be conscious of him my dear friends sangamam plus tv is god's gift for you for our times like comment share and subscribe god will do wonders in your life praise the lord